Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change this static hero section on our homepage into a carousel slider. Let me show you what we'll be able to create. Right over here, we have our loop carousel slider and on click, you see that now the text changes, the image changes, including the additional information in the slider. This title will be dynamic. This additional text will be dynamic, including the background image. And I also have to mention that in this new update, Elementor added a feature where we can adjust background image sizes on mobile devices. Without any further ado, let's get started. So in case you're wondering how I created this hero container, I basically have a main container that has a background image. So that container selected. This is a background image and it also has a background overlay color. So background overlay color has a color over there. And in this case, it has 0 0.5. So I want to make it, you know, 0 0.85 as the opacity. So we make it a little bit darker. And inside that container, we have another container, which is the container right over here holding our text. And in that container, we have uh, one heading widget, a second heading widget, and then also the third heading widget, which is actually holding our description. Now, what we have to do is to point these specific widgets to the relative dynamic elements that we want to reference every other time our slider is running. And now that calls for us to create this data on our website that will be echoed every other time when our slider is running. So in this case, I had to install another plugin called Advanced Custom Fields, which is a plugin that enables me to add custom fields or custom data onto my WordPress website. And when you come over here to custom fields, I have a new field group, which is called site slider. So when I say edit here, you have the title, I have the hero text and the background image. So now that means I'm able to add additional data to a specific post type or taxonomy. Now, in this case, I made sure that all these field groups are referenced to a specific post category of which that category is a slider. That means that every time I come and add a new post and once I categorize that post under slider, then WordPress will display the additional custom fields that I added, which includes the title, a hero text, and the background image. Now, the title in this case is referencing to the title right over here, and the additional text is this additional text over here, which here I called hero text, and the background image is basically an option that enables me to select an image from the media library or simply upload it from my computer. Now, when I open up the first slider in this case, I'll say edit, just to give you an idea of what is happening. And the title of the first slider is called Kanika Bike Repair Shop with the hero text added and the background image right over here. Now, when we come here on our complete slider, this is the first slider. Every other time someone loads up our website, this is the slider that they are going to be seeing with the title and the description and also that background image. Now, let me show you in our Elementor website how we can reference to that exact data from our custom fields that we just added. Do you want to build professional grade websites with ease? Join my Elementor Pro Bootcamp and unlock the full potential of the page builder. Learn to create stunning websites, maximizing Elementor Pro's dynamic and advanced features in no time. With self-paced learning, lifetime course updates, and unlimited email support, you'll never get stuck without any hope. Enroll now and start building your dream website with Elementor Pro. Follow the link on the screen or simply visit bootcamp.gotechug.com. Now back here to our Elementor website, we are going to select the first widget, which is our second heading widget. I'll leave the first heading widget right over here as is because I want it to appear the same on all other sliders. And I will set that the second and the third heading text is set to be dynamic and pointing to our slider data. So what I'm going to do is come over here, select this heading widget, come to dynamic tags. By the way, the option to access dynamic data in Elementor requires you to have Elementor Pro. And in case you don't have Elementor Pro, kindly use my affiliate link right down in the description of this video. And if you use my affiliate link to get Elementor Pro, Elementor gives me a small commission without any extra charge to you. And that way I'm able to create more videos just like this. Now, back here on our video, we're going to scroll way down below here and look up for the SEO field. Come back here, click on the range icon. And for the key value, we are going to set this to be title. We will select the second hero heading widget, come to dynamic tags, scroll way down below here to SEO field. And in this case, come back here to the range icon. And now we will select the hero text. Sorry that you're not seeing anything showing up right now. But don't worry about that we'll get that fixed in a while now back here on our main container 
we're going to come to style and under the image option we're going to choose the dynamic tags feature once again come to SCF field and in this case we'll select the image field and point to the background image custom data that we added now I'll select this container and I'm going to save it as a template so slider you can give it any name that you want good now I'm going to delete this container and I'm going to publish or update my page back into our home page I'm going to add a new container and in this case I'm going to come over here to my widgets and look up for the loop carousel so the loop carousel widget that just came in Elementor drop it over there now here it is going to ask us to choose a template so in this case we have to choose a template and I'm going to say here create a template now once that opens up in the template creator I'll click over here to add our already created template I'll just insert my slider template apply so right over here our template shows up first of all we can choose a preview in case you are not seeing anything showing up make sure that you come back over here select the preview as a post you can choose from the different posts that you want to show as a preview in this carousel under query make sure that the source is post because we are referencing to the post that we created and we categorize them under the slider category once we are done we are going to say update for now and now we are going to say go back to the page home page where we added our carousel slider widget now let's go ahead and style how we want our carousel slider to look like you can enable to show as many slides as possible but in this case we have data for only three slides under the slide to display option I want to show only one slide and then slide on scroll it is only going to be one slide at a time when it slides it's good that we have the eco heights feature which has been actually missing in Elementor so this is awesome and then uh, also the query you know we are querying our posts so in this case it's going to be a term and this term is going to be only for posts that are belonging to the slider category so when I look up for slider great there we go and then under settings we can choose to auto play the slides and then also the speed the pause on hover in case someone hovers over the slider that will pause automatically and as well as we can go ahead and set the direction of our slider then for the navigation we can enable the navigation dots or arrows I'm going to select the main container right now and I'm going to change the content width to be full width because we want our slider to use the whole content width of our page this looks great now we're also going to remove the padding right over here so I'm going to come to advanced remove the padding on the main container so I make that to zero and the look of thing looks like our slider looks nice and neat our navigations look good and our data is showing up on scroll now there's one thing that we have to fix you see when I click on the arrow you see that there is a space in between the slides so how do we fix that back to our home page we're going to select our loop carousel widget have it selected we're going to come to style and there is an option called gap between slides so we're going to make that zero and now let's go and have a preview okay now when I click on the arrow you see that we no longer have that space in between the slides now the last two things we want to work on are our navigation dots and also the slider responsiveness so what we are going to do is come here to our pagination and here we want to use dots which is down below here I'll make this to be 35 a little bit big and also the position is going to be inside and that's how our slides will look like we can make changes with the color and all that stuff but I'll leave it as it is right now and then I'm going to hit update and now we can go and look at our preview just like this now let's go and look into the slider responsiveness so back into our loop item settings we're going to click over here on the responsive mode select your tablet or mobile device I'll select the mobile device first and once you have your widgets content set here to be responsive that's it all that you need to do because now this same template will be simply showed up on your loop carousel and everything will stay responsive but I wanted to show you one thing and that is basically the responsiveness for the background image so with it selected we are going to select our container under the background image we can choose the image size now and that we can say we want to show only the medium size so when I say medium now that means that your website will not be loading up full-size images on mobile devices 
and hence improving your page score. Once that is done, we're going to say update. And now we have a dynamic carousel slider created using the Elementor Pro loop carousel widget that just came out in Elementor 